And I think that's what we're doing right here. It's just as important. It's just uh, as transformative individually and for our country to make sure that this great talent that has been so developed in the military now becomes part of our growing our economy. We're getting back home. You know, we've done well on. We got our good economy here. We believe in innovation here in the in the state of Washington, and so that's why I'm so excited that we've got an innovative plan, making sure people make a transition right here because we know it's not all that easy. It's tough making changes between bases. It can be a little tougher coming out of a military culture and infrastructure to make this step forward. So I just want to thank you for building the next generation of teachers and welders and computer programmers. And today I have the pleasure of announcing job training and employment opportunities for transitioning service members in another industry here at the base. This joint base has been at the forefront of creating opportunities for job training and transitioning in all kinds of high demand sectors. We were just talking about the tremendous coding and computing apprenticeship program that we have here. So today we're announcing a new partnership that will establish a solar photovoltaics installation academy with the first class starting in December 2014. Now I'm excited about this because clean energy, and this is a surprise to a lot of people, but clean energy is the single most rapidly job growth sector in the United States economy today. And the idea that we've got a vision statement that have veterans who've been trying to preserve our energy sources around the world are now going to come home and grow our energy sources right here when the sun shines. And it does shine in Washington State on occasion. <laughs> so, and want to help successful reintegration. Then when you do get out, you go to your final phase, you remain strong. This program is not just about transition, not just about employment. It's about an identity to the, the public and private partnership that yeah. on how and in what flavor they get some of these services so it best matches uh, their needs. Thanks, Walter. Tam Certain AFSEs that we're going to grow to all of those. The way we do this is uh, twofold. We have our Army Career Employment Specialists. We have our transition to, uh, to units on a monthly basis. Our Army Career Employment Specialists and our uh, transition employment liaisons make sure that they are conducting that outreach out there into my transition assistance uh, program uh, guide's office. They need to get in and see. You all know, you know, our spouses, uh, especially when you're active duty uh, and you're so busy, uh, hold the key oftentimes to a healthy transition and would just love to get the comments from the different services on how you think about it. And Sailors that are departing uh, to use the services of the Army and the Navy and sort of a step in that correct direction uh, in that uh, not just transitioning folks, but the folks who may be remaining in uh, can take advantage of that. That's something I think that can translate over to, uh, to the same sort of uh, area that we're going in. And then I think that'll strengthen the resume writing, the, inter I mean, the interviewing techniques as well. Walter? Yeah, that's a good question. And we look across the soul. 1.9 being students. So again, there's a lot of opportunities out there and yeah, well, I mean, we now have, we're going to be transitioning between eight to 9,000 service members out of Joint Base lewis McCord over the, over the next year. And so what it means to the average soldier is there are, you're going to, a lot of folks are going to be leaving and through the normal transition, through normal ETS, as well as part of the reduction of force that may be going on. So what uh, we have is, fortunately, is a federal law that supports how you transition folks out uh, beginning a year out. So it, it truly is a process, a roadmap that ensures success for service members so they can make sure when they leave uniform that they go right into a job, go right into education, or right, right into business that they like to run. We have some amazing young Americans who have served their nation with pride and distinction and are very, very talented. And so to get the opportunity now to link those young men and women up with businesses that are looking for those type of talent, it's, it's very, very exciting. Well, I think it shows the, the commitment uh, that their nation has to all service members that when you have served your nation and it's time for you to move on, then we're not just kicking you to the curb. Uh, that we care about your success, we care about your families, and we care about your, your, your future service in your local communities, wherever you may live. And so I think that's more important than anything else is that we want you to continue to serve. Uh, that just because you hung up the uniform doesn't mean your service to the nation is over and that you've got to continue to serve back in those businesses and communities uh, that support this nation. Well, I think being a joint base, you know, not a garrison, being a joint base gives us a need opportunities to work across all services, uh, but I think many of the programs and initiatives that we've started here are being replicated across the entire Army.
the opportunities that exist at Joint Base Lewis McCord currently don't exist at other installations. And so for the folks who are lucky enough to be assigned to here or assigned here in the Pacific Northwest with one of the other services, we're here to help you. Take advantage of what we offer because it truly is a unique opportunity uh, that not, other, not a lot of people have.